Okay, hello everybody. I will talk about my project of thesis titled The Impact of the Narrative Formats on the Behavior Improvement in Relation to the Socially stigma Stigmatized Groups, the Effect of Empathy and Similarity in Terms of Social Identity. So, for uh, beginning, um, in order to have an overview of the project, um, we will begin with the abstract of the, of the research. So, the, the main subject of the research is to study the effect of the narrative formats on the reduction of negative prejudices and beliefs or worldviews toward various socially stigmatized, stigmatized groups as a collective of immigrants in the concept of the experiment one. Um, so, we will conduct two experiments that analyze the impact of the narration effects on the attitude toward that system as stigmatized groups, paying a particular focus in the role of empathy, the identification with the characters, and the similarity in terms of social identity. So, um, the context and motivation that drive the dissertation research, uh, the main topic of the research is the effect of the normative formats on the reduction of prejudice toward these socially stigmatized or, or discriminated groups. And for that, we will conduct, as we said, two experiments using, using short fiction narrations on which the main character of these narrations will be or will belong to a certain stigmatized group. Okay? And in this context, we think that, that this is very important to have the best knowledge about the, the mechanisms of the, mechanisms of, of the narrative persuasion that are capable of creating, of, of, of modifying, of creating positive change in the behavior and beliefs toward that socially stigmatized, stigmatized collectives. And for any this part, um, to say that this thesis is, is directly related to one study carried out by the Observatory of the of Visuales of the University of Salamanca with this title managed by Juan José Gato and financed by the Ministry of Economy and Commerce and Competitiveness of the Government. Okay, um, in the state of the art, I will talk about two separate, two independent uh, theoretical files, narrative persuasion and, and social psychology. Okay, um, in relation to the narrative persuasion, to say that this, this file studies how the information situated within the narratives can affect in the, percep in the perception of reality. And two of the main explanatory models of the narrative persuasion, such as transport transportation theory and the, the, the extended elaboration likelihood model, recognize the absorption, the absorption and the, the identification with the characters as the main mechanism responsable for the effect. And for ending, uh, by means of the identification with the characters, could increase the possibility of people to agree with the arguments contained in, in this narration. And on the other hand, in the file of social, social psychology, the social identity theory, by that, by that thought, states that people <laughs> tend to express an endogruppal favoritism and an exogruppal discrimination. That favoring people who pertain to at the end of the group and is almost prejudiced with the persons <laughs> of the next <laughs> group. And, okay. um, and, and say that, and the research says that one of the main approaches in order to reduce this prejudice uh, is the incitement of emotional processes such as empathy. Okay? Um, or in this part, to say that the impact of the narrative fiction with a positive image of minorities and, it, and the identification with these minorities' characters have been associated with a more positive attitude towards these members of this minority or stigmatized groups. Okay? Uh, how I said, um, the main objective, objective of the main goal of this research is to study the effect of narrative formats, short fiction narrators, in the reduction of the prejudice toward the various socialist democratic groups. And the specific subjects analyze the ethic of empathy 
with two conditions, high degree of empathy versus low degree of empathy in the attitude towards stigmatized groups, to analyze the effect of similarity in terms of social identity, with two conditions too, high degree of similarity versus low degree of similarity in the attitude towards stigmatized groups, and to test the role of identification with the characters as a mediator variable and the role of similarity in terms of social identity as a moderator variable in the effect of empathy on the attitude toward stigmatized groups. We will see. Okay, in consequence, then, as a hypothesis, there are, in, in relation with the first hypothesis, we expect that the experimental condition of high degree of empathy will lead, will lead to higher levels of identification. And the high and two, the experimental condition of high degree of empathy will lead to better attitude toward the members of the stigmatized collectives. And then, in relation to the, uh, our second hypothesis, uh, the experimental condition of high degree of similarity in terms of social identity will lead to higher levels of identification with the characters. And two, this experimental condition of high degree of similarity in terms of social identity will lead to improving attitude toward members of the stigmatized collectives. Um, for ending, the goodness, our third hypothesis, when we we will try to to test a moderate and moderate mediation model, when the identification with the characters act as a mediator variable, uh -huh, and the similarity in terms of social, social identity will act as a moderator variable. Okay. And method. Um, two, in, in the two experiments, we have a two by two factorial design with two independent variables. Um, but the, the, the difference between two experiments are located in that three steps. The manipulation of the empathy in the experiment one is by instruction before the position of the stimulus materials, while in the experiment two, we will try to find alternative ways to manipulate the empathy. And the, 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 the stimulus materials in the experiment one are short fiction narrators in text format, while in the experiment two, short, short fiction narrators in audiovisual format. And uh, relative to the, stigma, the chosen stigmatized group in the experiment one, collective of collective of immigrant, while in the experiment experiment two, no no other systematic stigmatized collective not determined. Um, for the results. Uh, the, this is project is an, an, initial, an initial stage. No, there are no results to. to <laughs> for several months, we continue to study. For the our expected contribution is uh, will uh, will allow well, the knowledge of these explanatory processes will allow us to develop and create effective fiction products for changing the behavior and beliefs toward the socialist demasticized groups. All this without losing any entertainment potential and while the resultant products can be perceived as a persuasive message by the people. This is all. Sorry for my... <laughs>